Hey everybody, welcome back, happy new year. It's been a couple months since I've uploaded anything new here on my channel, not because I don't have any projects underway, but because I have so many projects underway and nothing is done. So as my first video for the new year, I thought it might be fun to do a little updated home renovation tour. It's been well over a year since I've done a casual little renovation tour. And I thought while we're at it, we might as well sort of take a tour of all the various projects that are underway so you can get a taste of kind of what's coming on my channel this year. Uh, let's get started. So here we are in my porch. You may remember in my last update video that the porch was entirely covered in plastic. I had a contractor working to totally reconstruct it. There were some structural issues that needed to be resolved. So it is looking much better. That construction was wrapped up shortly after and so it's been in this kind of like limbo phase. I'm hoping to make this project a priority kind of into the spring. So you can kind of see that it got a really nice pretty metal roof. Also there's some construction down the street so don't mind that noise. You may remember that my ultimate plan is to remove the white vinyl siding and repair or replace the siding underneath and paint it a really nice dark olive green. Uh, however, that seems to feel pretty far down the line at this point, so the strategy is just to go ahead and paint everything white so that it all matches and looks right together. Painting the ceiling a nice bluey gray green color and then darkening up the color, I think, on the porch to a more deep smoky gray. I thrifted these rocking chairs and so they will eventually get painted. I'm not sure what color yet. I kind of want to see everything together first. This chair here I found on the street and it has been sitting like this on my porch for like six months. <laughs> the plan is to remove almost every part of the upholstery and really leave all of this looking exposed and kind of raw, like a skeleton almost and then to recover the seat and the back and over the arms with a couple of leather jackets. This piece was also found on the street in my neighborhood. I think the lines are really clean and the size is so perfect for right here by the front door. Uh, we just cleaned up the frame a little bit and it's gonna get a new upholstered seat. And then here you can see the front door is mid stripping. Um, I just felt like going at it one day with a heat gun and so I did that and it's been like this for like six months. Uh, it's a little scary at the moment but I think eventually once we can see all that beautiful dark wood and all the detailing on the woodwork it's just gonna be so incredible. So we're gonna hit that up soon I hope. Are you gonna be good? Queenie, sit. Good girl. Good girl, be quiet. Here in the entryway, not too much. Shh. Here in the entryway, not too much has really changed yet. Um, for a while, this space was my makeshift kitchen with appliances everywhere. Um, we've got it more or less cleared out at this point. And clearly, I'm still holding on to Christmas. I hung my mirrors that were in my apartment. Eventually, they're going to be framed out a little bit better, but for now, it's nice to have them there. I have this beautiful rug that I thrifted. I have purchased some light fixtures that I'm going to be updating to go here. I have a pretty cool plan for that, but still trying to figure out all the details. I also purchased a bunch of thrifted windows that are going to go all up on this back wall. I want to open that up and feel the light coming through from behind there and so it's going to be all old glass windows on that wall. We're also going to be doing a wood ceiling in here that I think is going to be painted black just to cover up all of that nasty texture on the ceiling and then painting the walls. Not too much to do in here but it's probably not Going to be on the docket for this year but we'll see and then this i thrifted this a couple weeks ago i just love that chair i think the lines of it are so beautiful so i'm thinking of recovering in kind of a nice olivey green velvet um let me know what you guys think about that i think it might be fun over here in the guest room literally nothing has happened in this room it just is still a holding area for various things that i'm on the way to get rid of or things that are on the way to get put up the last time I did one of these tour videos, everything was really under construction and pulled apart and I had just moved into the house. Now I've been in the house for a little bit over a year and so I've just kind of accumulated a lot of stuff, which is good. My process with design, I want everything to feel kind of found and loved and interesting and purposeful, um, but that often means that I just like take on a lot of stuff without a place to put it. And so several of the rooms in my house are just like, warehouses of stuff so as we get each room polished up and take out all the crap that's not supposed to be there we'll be like 
on to the final stages and have things looking better. But right now it's a little bit overwhelming. I don't know, I like to kind of be able to fully see things in the space and to kind of live with it for a while and see how it feels. So I'm just like trying various things, different places and moving things around and seeing how that feels as we go. So here in the office, again, it's kind of a mad house at this moment, but more or less all the pieces are in place for this to come together. Um, again, a lot of this is going to move out of here, but the core pieces that are going to stay, uh, this beautiful vintage filing cabinet, I love having all those little drawers for various crafting tools. Um, I'll definitely label those and organize that better. Uh, this other filing cabinet that I had before, super useful. That shelving unit that I thrifted is gonna hang on the wall and then there'll be like a different desk below. I want another workspace there. So if I'm sewing, I have a dedicated space for that. This table here that's covered in stuff um, is a mid-century dining table that I found. There's a little bit of damage on the glass here in the corner. So I'm hoping to get the whole piece of glass cut down and put on my sawhorse table legs that are in the other room. Not sure if that's gonna work, but we'll try. This china cabinet that I thrifted has been really helpful. I put all of my painting tools in there. Um, I think china cabinets are sort of an underrated thing. They feel kind of maybe dated or grandma's house in some way, but I think if you style them with books or, I don't know, art supplies like I have here, it just feels a lot more contemporary. Queenie, are you bored? This teal vinyl mid-century sofa was probably my best thrift find of 2022. I got it for 40 bucks, which is crazy. Uh, you can see here that it has these beautiful brass arms that are sort of floating. I was initially gonna put this in my living room, but it's really not very comfortable and it's not really what I was looking for in that space. So it's perfect here in the front bay window. Um, just to offer a little place to sit here, and of course Queenie likes to sit up there and look out the window, which is nice. I just found this Moravian star in my grandmother's attic. I'm definitely gonna hang that on the front porch. I think that's beautiful. This room more or less is just gonna be a paint job, painting the walls, painting the ceiling and the floor, removing the chair rail that's around the middle of the room here. It just doesn't make sense for the space and is not original to the house. Um, so at some point all of this will get cleared out and painted and then it's just about putting things back in a way that's less cluttered and more functional. Coming through to the living room, this is another space that is like a holding room for all of the weird crap that I've accumulated, but we're sort of starting to see the main components of the room go into place here. So earlier last year I thrifted these cabinets. Um, they're going to be arranged a little bit differently on that wall, but there's going to be built-ins all along that whole back wall, and they're going to be painted sort of a smoky blue-gray color that's going to make the sofa totally pop. Sofa, I just got a couple weeks ago at a liquidation center. I love it. Um, this table, I'm either going to strip it and restain it or possibly coat it in plaster. Are we over the plaster coffee table trend? I still kind of like that trend, and I think... Because so much of this room is going to be light with the walls and the floor being kind of more or less off-white, um, I think sometimes it can be really nice to put a white element right in the center of the room just so that it doesn't feel like a white perimeter with everything in the middle feeling dark and heavy. So I like the idea of a coffee table being light and that's what I put in my mood boards and my renderings of the space. But not sure how I feel about that trend. It feels like, you know, maybe that's come and gone already. Let me know what you think. Here on this wall, I got this beautiful carved dark wood piece at Facebook Marketplace. I had initially planned to like make a hole in the back of it and make like a raising TV come out of it because I have a weird thing where I don't like to see a TV in a space. However, I have been looking into the Samsung frame TVs that look like art on the wall. Once I can afford one of those, then I'll probably just go with that because it'll be easier and I like how they look. So that'll just float on the wall up above. I have purchased tile for all of the fireplaces in my house. Don't know when that will be a priority, but I'm ready when it is. One of the big projects that I would like to see happen this year that I kind of hinted at in the pantry video, we're gonna take away this door entirely. The built-ins will cover that up. And then here, kind of in the middle of the wall will be the new doorway through the pantry to the kitchen. It's really interesting to live in a space for a while and sort of notice how you use it and how it functions and how that can affect your design for the space. 
Initially, I was just gonna keep that pass through the bathroom into the kitchen, but it just doesn't seem to be very functional. And with that cut off, I find that I don't ever come in the space because it's not really connected to anything. And in most houses, there is some sort of connection between the kitchen and the living space directly. Whereas as it is now, you kind of have to go around other parts of the house to get to that. So I think that cutting a clear path directly through to the kitchen just makes more sense in a modern living way. It will make more sense for my life and what I want to do and how I want to use the space. And I also think it will just sort of open things up and allow more light to pass through and just feel really, um, really beautiful. Just taking a quick stop here at the bedroom, there really hasn't been anything structural done to the space, no paint. Just sort of getting some furniture in here and getting a sense of how I want the space to function. Initially, you remember I put the bed on this wall over here because I didn't want to put it in front of the window and that was really my only other option. But I found that it had to move quite a bit over in order to clear this door and so it just didn't really feel right there. So midway through the year, we opted to move it in front of the window. And even though it's a little bit odd and asymmetrical, I just feel like having it in the center of the space and facing you when you walk in feels so much more stately. A couple thrifted pieces here, the rug, this trunk. This dresser is missing a bottom drawer, but we're gonna cut off the bottom and move the legs up and do a, you know, a repaint on it. I think it's gonna be really beautiful. We're still trying to figure out the closet space. There's one kind of half walk-in closet over here, and then there's this closet here that I think was the original closet for the room that is not deep enough to put a hanger in, so it's more or less useless. So we've discussed kind of turning this into built-ins and maybe bringing this closet out more to expand it. I don't know of a good solution. Let me know if y'all have any ideas. And nothing has happened in that bathroom, so we're just gonna skip on by that. It's interesting working with decorating my spaces, but also being here on YouTube. I feel like YouTube sort of is a space where we like to see videos that are like, I decorated one space in a weekend or something like that. And I, and again, when I started out here on this process, I thought I'll do one room at a time and we'll release a video on each one. I think the issue that I have with that is partly living in the renovation is not always really possible to sort of dedicate yourself to one space that fully at a time. So we've been kind of bouncing around from one space to the next, but also I really want everything in my space to feel like I chose it and I love it and it came from somewhere that's important to me. It's attached to a memory. It's not just stuff. And so it takes a while to kind of accumulate the pieces that are right and to get, you know, thrift things for the right price. So it's a different kind of mindset. I've been kind of adjusting to that of like, it's going to take some time and it's not going to be as like clean cut as you might think watching a lot of standard home renovation YouTube, you know? Here we start in toward the back of the house, which is where most of the construction has been happening and things are the furthest along. Here in the atrium, uh, we had to sort of tear out a lot of this soffit part up here and reconstruct that to make it level. It was very odd. Also, we have removed that back window that was ugly and letting a lot of air into the house and put a really large picture window instead, which is beautiful. That rug is in process. I've been cutting apart carpet tiles and sort of rearranging them. I have a little bit of cutting left to do on that and then I need to decide on how I wanna paint it. I'm struggling a little bit on the color for that because I initially was gonna do kind of varying shades of green. I like that idea still. I just am not sure how that's gonna work with the floor tile pattern and with this other rug in the space. Um, so it's possible that maybe I'll do something a little bit more multicolor. I just don't want it to be overwhelming. So I just, it, that's been a project that's been underway for months that really shouldn't take that long, but I just can't really wrap my head around how it's gonna fit with all the other elements in the space. But I still do really like it and I think it's gonna be cool. We painted the walls and the ceiling and everything in a flat, creamy color that's sort of the dedicated cream color for the house that's gone in several other rooms already. It's just nice and neutral and really opens up the space. I think this door is gonna be a nice solid black to kind of anchor things a little bit here. My goal for this space is to achieve kind of a conservatory atrium greenhouse type look with lots of plants and natural materials. Um, and a little bit more rustic than the rest of the house with the siding exposed and without the more ornate moldings. Um, this did used to be the old back porch, so I think it just gives sort of a nice natural element that can feel a little bit more casual if we embrace that more greenhouse vibe. 
This light fixture was thrifted. It was different than what I was expecting for the space, but I think it just looks really clean and perfect for this room. Table and chairs were also thrifted. The table's gonna get a white epoxy top on it to kind of clean it up and make it look a little bit fresher. And also, same thing when I was talking about with the living room, I think that putting the white in the center of the space is really gonna make this feel less heavy in the midst of this very white room. Chairs are beautiful, but they need to be recovered. So I'm looking at a couple different options here with fabrics that I thrifted to see what's gonna work best and what I have enough of. Turning over to the side here, this is the bathroom that will be completely constructed from scratch. Um, this used to be two closets facing each other and now it is a full bathroom. It's very exciting and this is a room that is almost done. I just decided that I wanted to hand paint wallpaper all over everything and that has taken me months, partly because it's very time consuming and partly because it's just tedious and I get bored doing it. We have a washer and dryer built-in cabinet here that is made out of old doors just to give that a little bit of like a, a contained area. Uh, the door to the bathroom is currently off because it's being stripped, but that will mostly cover this when the door is open. So that's kind of a little bit more concealed. And then there's been a lot, a lot of tiling going into this room here. Um, shower door will be installed. It's just gonna be really, really beautiful and I'm excited for it. Moving through to the half bathroom, um, I made a part one of this video a while ago when we did the faux leather wallpaper with an intention to make a part two right away and then we made some major changes to the plan and so that never really happened. So again the major change is that this door here in the back is going to go away entirely. Um, this mirror is sitting here kind of as an example. We're going to be insetting a mirror into the wall with kind of a shelf um, because since we're filling in the wall already it just makes sense to kind of use that space and make a feature out of it. This piece here was thrifted. The plan is to cut off the bottom of it so it can sit above the baseboard and really go back into the corner um, and then get a countertop on it so it feels a little bit more permanently installed. I'm also going to be removing some of the more like rattan elements and I, I think adding some leather straps just to kind of like spice it up a little bit and make it feel a little bit more like my style. Uh, and then finally you can see the floor here and the toilet were installed and they're just beautiful. And for those who are interested, um, my stained glass is still holding strong. That's the video that I'm like most proud of last year and I love the response that I've gotten to that. That was such a simple project, but it really makes all the difference and it's just such a cool artistic piece for this room. And for those that watched that video and that commented that we're still concerned about privacy for the space, I get you, this is still pretty clear and see-through, but I placed the tree on the other side, so it gives kind of a nice leafy background here and will keep people from looking directly through and from the other side. So hopefully that'll make guests feel comfortable. And finally, here we are in the kitchen. I feel like for months on my channel, I've been saying, the kitchen's almost done, it's almost done. And it's true, it really is almost done. Um, our hold up here has really been this island piece. Um, this is an old 1800s piece. We know it's super old because of the way it's constructed. It had one carved leg here on the front, um, but it was missing the other leg. So we removed both and we'll be reconstructing those, which is taking a minute. And then it's gonna be kind of like painted black and distressed a little bit. And then the white solid surface countertops will go in on top of that. In addition, there are just some smaller tweaks to make to the space um, with my wood range hood here. Now that I see all the colors together, I just wanna like richen that up and warm it up a little bit. So I have a wax that's gonna go on that. I also have a treatment that I wanna do on the countertops to give them a little bit more shine and kind of polish, hopefully, just to kind of make them feel a little bit less ashy. Something about this color, they just look a little bit dry to me, um, which, you know, I'm supposed to oil them and hydrate them and all that, but I think that maybe this will be a little bit more of a finish in addition to an oil. Here up on the shelves, it's another place where I've been just sort of fiddling with what I want to go up there and what feels pretty and uh, appropriate scale-wise, but also feels functional. So there's some of that that's really working, some of it that's not, and so I've just been kind of moving things around and seeing how I want to style that for the finished kitchen. Which brings us around to the pantry, which you've more or less seen in the pantry video. There haven't really been any major changes there, and there won't be until the wall comes down and we have a door through to the living room, which is gonna be so exciting. Okay, so that kind of rounds out our tour this time. I hope you guys like this. Um, let me know which projects you're really excited about seeing here in the new year. If you like this video, if you wanna see more of my house renovation and the projects that go with it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Big thank you to everyone that has been watching and supporting here on the channel so far. I actually just finally got the qualifications to monetize my channel, 
which is very exciting. You know, of course I want to be here uploading just because I want to and I love sharing and I'm doing it anyway, so I might as well share it. Um, but it is also nice to think that there might be some financial benefit from it so that I can kind of keep going and um, I really appreciate your support. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. You want that giraffe? Queenie, sit. Sit. Look, Queenie. Sit. 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 You will sit. Queenie, sit.